I am with the once proud champions, and now a former. I'm talking about the Allen Brothers. Guys, you are a string of bad luck with all warm, no soul. So NAWA management, they're giving you a request. You're on to a new team. Unfortunately, it's one of the hottest teams in the NAWA territory, the Ghetto Superstars. Steve, let's start with you. We already beat the Wranglers. And now that we're on to the Ghetto Superstars, we're gonna take this one home too. And after this, we want our titles back. We'll be new number one contenders. Oh, I like the sound of that, Steve. Number one contenders. It's going to be the future of NAWA, the Allen Brothers. Come on, man. You're the con. Well, we just heard from the Allen Brothers. They defeated the Wranglers a couple of weeks ago. They are on the rise once again in the tag team division. But in two weeks, they're going to be taking on a new team of the Ghetto Superstars in tag team action. That match is going to be in two weeks. And they continue their climb up the tag team ranks. Can the Allen Brothers defeat the Ghetto Superstars? We're going to find out in two weeks right here on NAWA Championship Wrestling. He has a victory of getting into the lane. It's the small victories that count because he's probably not going to defeat the Iron Lion, Mr. Juicy, Luscious Lawrence here tonight. It's the small things that lead up to big things there terms of personal victories, but we gotta give credit where credit is due. Stewart has been in competition here in NAWA for a long time now. He's a former champion, Michael. You know, Luscious Lawrence wants to spread love, but it also looks like he wants to spread viciousness and violence once he steps through the ropes. A lot of nicknames for this guy, a lot of nicknames for Stewart. Look at Luscious there and tell he is a man who has eaten a lot of red meat in his life. Look at that. Pectoral spread unique that you're not physique. To see else. Oh, come on. Are you really going to ask this nerd to pose? The only muscle he has is in his brain. Look at that. And Mama Snodgrass is smiling from her bedroom, which everyone knows the color of the bedroom. Oh, the fans are booing Luscious Lawrence. Rightfully so. Look at Stewart here now, bravely getting into the middle of the ring. Flexing that mental muscle there, Stewart. Show him what for, son. Oh no, oh God, Luscious Lawrence. Diving in there, clobbering Stewart from the behind. Swiveling those hips, posing. He had enough of that nerve getting all the adul adulation. Look at Stewart, he's not gonna give up on it. Oh look, top stomp of the foot there. And there's another one. And Luscious Lawrence is feeling that'll hurt any man, no matter how much weight you can bench press. There you go, Stewart now locks in that side headlock. Clearly written with his names written across his whitey tidies. Oh man, just imagine if Luscious Lawrence gives him a wedgie, it's gonna be the most massive wedgie he's probably ever had in his life. That, that's a terrifying thought there, Michael. He's already had to have a wedgie surgically removed in his lifetime as Stewart. Hopefully that won't happen again here. The last time we saw him get a wedgie, it was from Amp Dominic and Golden Gladiator number two, and he nerded up. Oh, massive oh, wow. elbow there. As only Stewart can deliver. Now look at Luscious Lawrence. He is laying prone on the ring mat there. Stewart is in control. Looking to slingshot him into the corner. Face oh, wow. first. Trips him up. Look at that. He's going to go for the cover here. Only a two count. It's going to take more than your little tricks to put away the iron line, Stuart Snodgrass. Oh, sweeps the leg. Still only a two count, though. Got a lot of strength in the body. Does Luscious Lawrence there, obviously. He's going to be able to get out of that pinfall combination, but Stuart still laying in those elbows. Shoots him across here now. What Stuart got in mind at this point in time. Building up some momentum. Looking like. Curly from the Three Stooges, looking successful as well with a nice snap bear. See, this is for Mama. Oh, it is hits him with the pop quiz. Going for the cover, is that enough? Do you think Luscious Lawrence was able to pass pop quizzes back in his day in high school? Or did he bully kids to give him the answers? What do you think? He didn't pass, he was able to pass that one by kicking out at two there. Definitely passed that one there. Oh, oh right wow. to the eyes. 
That's a, another way to get around taking a pop quiz. Stewart may have to invest in some protective eyewear here at some point in time. Well, he had it. Oh, oh back no. He wore it out to the ring. He took it off before the match started. I see some great camera work by our ringside crew Whoa, what's this? Oh, He's no. gearing up for a, a wet willy. Oh, no. Oh, wet oh, willy. Oh, oh, right into the eardrum. How unhygienic can you be? My gosh. Luscious Lawrence taking control now. He's had enough of this nerd. Look at this here now. Luscious Lawrence building up ahead of steam. Oh, wow. Just ramming that shoulder right into the stomach of Stuart Snodgrass. Going to make him throw up those ABC cereal that Mama Snodgrass fixed him this morning. My goodness. Stuart trying to recover and get some safety there in the corner, but winds up just giving Luscious Lawrence an opportunity to choke him against the bottom rope. Swiveling those hips, and now the referee's like, I don't want any part of that. I bet you do, don't you, Redbeard? Uh, no, no, don't thank you. That's it. What are you stumbling over your words for? Hey, well, good Does Luscious Lawrence make you stutter? Hey, Luscious Lawrence uh, makes me well, terrified, put it that way, as he throws Look our. Look at the face of Stuart Snodgrass. Everybody's favorite nerd, except mine, is getting his hide whooped all over the ring. That's what we're talking about. Getting the. Wiggle of the hips right in the face. Look at that. And look at Lush is not going to play to the crowd. He's going to just do what he wants. Lush is just firmly in control of this contest as he shoots Stewart across. Oh, but misses with that tempted body splash there. Stewart, oh wow, gets clubbed across the back of the shoulders. Able to move out of the way, but not able to capitalize on that. Oh, he's giving him a. What is he doing? A purple purple as he swivels the hips there again for good measure. My God. You know, if you swip from your hips when you do the purple and it puts more pressure on the nipple of the individual receiving it. I'm, Did you not know that? You're I'm, a nerd. I'm terrified that you knew that. My God, Michael. Oh, no. Big scoop slam by Lucius Lawrence. Don't. That's a power slam. Don't underestimate the power. I love that he's spreading right here, right on the Stewart Snodgrass as he drops a big leg drop right across the throat. Get down there and count, ref. Two count only. If that goof of a ref didn't get down quicker, quicker, he would have lost. He would have already won this match, Luscious Lawrence would have. While you give the referee a feeling grade there, we're going to see if Stewart can pass this test that he's in right now as he's drawn a major exam from Luscious Lawrence, sunset flip a tip there by Stuart Stockgrass. Oh, gets him down. Two count only, though. Oh, and oh, the, the momentum Stuart just built was cut off. Big time lariat there by Luscious Lawrence. Luscious Lawrence needs to quit playing to the crowd and get on top of Mama Snodgrass's baby boy. What a cover. That's it. That's just disrespectful there. You have to hook the legs, what they always say. See the Argyle socks there of Stuart Stockgrass. He's a bit of a stylistic fella when he's not in the ring. What is Luscious Lawrence about to do? He's going to take him up. Look at oh, that. Wow, he's holding this My man up. Gosh. Such strength by Luscious Lawrence. And Stewart is not a lightweight, people. That delayed vertical suplex, but still such a lackadaisical cover by Luscious Lawrence. Very impressive vertical suplex there by Luscious Lawrence, but he's got to start taking Stewart more seriously here if he wants to have a victory against him. I might have to agree with you, Redbeard. I think he might not be taking Stewart serious here because he is a nerd. He's probably destroyed and, and bullied every nerd that's come across his path in his way with ease, but Stewart's not your typical nerd. He doesn't stand for bullying. As we said, Stewart is a previous or is a former champion here in NAWA, held the United States title for a number of months. Look at that, Stewart outsmarting Luscious Lawrence, getting an elbow shot in there. What are you doing, Snodgrass? Don't you go up to the top rope again. Stewart's thinking of going to the high rip district. Oh my goodness. Smartly looking out for the fans this time. Oh, look at that. Delivering a double axe handle, but look, his ankle. Oh no. He must have landed, he landed awkwardly on that left foot. Oh no, my the ankle is hurt. He's in some serious pain here. Luscious Lawrence shoving the referee out to the floor. What is happening here? 
assaulting the referee to go after that ankle. Wait, the bell just rang. The referee, is, is he throwing this match out? The bell rang, Redbeard. Bell What's going rang. on here? I, I'm trying to get a confirmation on what happened here from our bell keeper. The luscious Lawrence, regardless, is now just tearing away at that ankle of short star grass. Referee is, can't, is throwing his arms up saying this match is over. I believe the referee has disqualified Luscious Lawrence for having made contact with him. Shoving him to the floor, he's disqualified him. And Stuart Snodgrass is your winner. Look at that, continuing to just show a, look at this. Luscious Lawrence showing massive disrespect to our official here. My lovely wife, Miss Angel Valier, AWW. Angels wrestling with. She did this whole outfit on me. My goodness, she could do anything. Masks, bandanas, hey, you, you name it, tights, trunks, robes. Captain Joe, come here, Cap. You made this whole outfit to me. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Look at that, man. Look Captain that. Joe, baby. Hey, she can do anything. Hey. Give her a call. For all your pro wrestling gear needs, visit angelswrestlingwear.weebly.com. If you can dream it, Angel can make it. Be there, and she'll do you well. Yeah. Whoo, Master This is professional wrestler Jimmy Valiant. Handsome Jimmy, the boogie woogie man. I'm telling my people on my brothers and sisters. Your truly loves you all. Now, hey, y'all, I have a wrestling camp in Charlottesville, Virginia. It's called BWC, Boogie's Wrestling Camp, Hall of Fame Museum. Come if you want to be a professional wrestler, valet, or a referee, or a timekeeper. Put up the ring, brother, anything. We'll teach you all. Do interviews. Do it all right here at BWC. For more information on Boogie's Wrestling Camp, Hall of Fame Museum, visit JimmyValiant.Weebly.com. Oh, yeah! I'm standing here once again with the Slim Reaper, Zay Vega. Zay, as NAWA liaison to management, I have been informed for this year's Thunderdome 4, you have been named one of the team captains. I could just surmise, you could probably guess who you're going to be facing. Yes, the petulant child, Luke Fury. Let's hear your thoughts, brother. You know, I can pretty much already tell you who my opponents will be. There's going to be AJ Frost. There's going to be probably Squeeze the Clown or somebody else from King of the Prize. Either way it goes. At first, when I first when, when I first think about this, it's, it's a little upsetting. But to have that kid locked in a cage, there's no one that can save him that way either. So, okay, you're on Fury, Thunderdome Four. Okay, I got an idea. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event this week. As we got the Big Nasty taking on the man that is too cold to hold, A.J. Frost, in your main event, JPS. We just saw that great action from the vault. Now we got this hardcore match here in your main event. Redbeard, where the hell are you? This match here, I'm excited to see. These two guys don't like each other. This is a anything goes, they can use weapons, they can do whatever. Half these people here are drunk now, so this is gonna be fun. Well, we're gonna see what happens here. Oh, Frost getting the jump on Nasty. Absolutely. He should have never turned his back on him. He ought to know better. And don't let those chairs fool you. There are hundreds of people standing under them tents watching wrestling today. I think he just kicked him in the nuts as he now, well, here we go. Well, that's straight to it. He ain't gonna play with it, he's going straight to it. This stop sign must travel with the company because it seems to be popping up everywhere we go. And here we go. Oh, he didn't stop. Kicks him in the midsection there. And now Frost bringing that weapon into play early on, but he didn't get to use it. 
Oh, God, look at that speed there from uh, the big man. I'm telling you, that's a big man running at you, too. And now what's Frost got in mind as he's on the mat? What's Nasty going to do here? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Mm. Patented fist drop. He likes to drop it all on everybody's face, but now he's got that stop sign. That thing's all bent up and beat up from years of abuse. Yeah. Oh, right across the back there, JPS. That's going to leave a mark. Look at AJ. He's got on his war pants today, too, buddy. He come for a battle. Yeah, you know, they, if you kept up with these two, you saw that hair versus mask match. Yeah, I've seen it. It was pretty violent in itself. Can they top that with violence? Look at them just straight forearm shots right to the just face. Clubbing him right in the face. Big clubbing blows there. I think Nancy's had enough of A.J. Frost. I think he's embarrassed him enough over the years. I think he might have had enough of this guy. Where's his crew at? You never see A.J. in the, in the ring by himself. Where's all of his boys at? I'm sure they're lurking around somewhere here in Asheville, here at the Well Collective, and he's got that stop sign. Oh, right oh. over the top of the head. Mm. Collapsed oh him. Gosh. He collapsed him in the corner there. Did it knock him out? I'm pretty sure that would knock me out. You know why? You're, you're the soft one. I'm soft. That would have knocked me clean out. I'm going to get you some, uh, I'm going to get you in the gym or something. Now, what's I'm he got not a, doing that crap either. He just hit him with a cookie sheet or something there. Oh, my gosh. And here we go. Hardcore oh rolls. Oh, Lord. Falls count anywhere. We're going underneath these tents where all the people are drinking that beer. And Frost just getting pounded, pounded with right hands. <laughs> these people are getting up close and personal with this action now. I think Big Nasty just wanted to go wrestle in the shade. Maybe he wanted a beer. I don't know, but Frost, I think he's busted open I and bleeding. I believe so. It looks like he's bleeding. Frost putting that thumb in the eye. And everybody here in Asheville is uh, getting getting involved. Big, oh, a big chop. That didn't face oh. the big man. Good Lord. And I was right, Frost. He is bleeding. And the big man, too. He's got big hands. They like like catcher's mitts. He's asking for a beer. He must be thirsty. Oh, <laughs> he hit him right in the face with it. He just had a toast. And now he's getting a sip of it. Oh, Frost now with a boot. He just clubbed that. He's pouring the beer on his mask on uh. his head. That might have cooled him off. <laughs> but this is getting out of control. I'm telling you, how long is this row of tents? It's pretty darn long. It's got to be like a football field long full of people. No, that, big that, chop there. They're going to be in downtown uh, Asheville if they keep going. Well, here we go. This is just getting, like I said, this is out of control already. And I hope that they don't cause any damage here to the beer festival. Oh, what a <laughs> weak chop. That's what Who's that guy? In the rain. He don't even want to do it. I bet he's drinking some kind of organic wheat Oh, look at that. Bit of middle finger and a low blow. <laughs> Maybe Nasty should have just continued to inflict the punishment here instead of letting these fans get involved. Where in the world are they going? Look at the food truck. They're going to dent that man's food truck. Food trucks and beer everywhere, and now we got wrestling. What was that? That was the bell. It was the bell. Well, you this, know, this the bell, the service bell. I was about to say, this match is just getting started. It looks like now they're going over here. Look at that school, school bus. bus. And that's a short bus, so AJ's probably used to that. Is he? I think so. Oh, well, here we go. I think that's the one that said he got a dent in it, but the Bretzel bus is getting a – oh, look at this. The bus is getting oh involved. Oh, my goodness. They're lending an assist to Big Nasty here. That's they, the magic school bus. They just squeeze Frost's head. Look at this. He's trying to take his eyeballs out of the socket. He's going to hook him. I'm surprised they didn't wind up going over there to those urinals. Ooh. And now here, Frost fighting back. He's still got some life left in him. Just throwing him head first into that. Looks like a cooler. I think or, it's a cooler. Or a butcher block or something. <laughs> Where are we at, Mike? Good grief. We're in Asheville, North Carolina. Look at that lady. She's just trying to enjoy her beer. Hardcore rules. Anything goes here this week. As A.J. Frost has got nasty going all over. They're on the other side of the tents now. Now these people are getting introduced. Big chop oh, wow. there. Where is Frost going now? He's a, he's not playing any games, he said. Mm -mm. Oh, dear God, what this has gone all over the, the festival everywhere. I think every time Frost chops this big man, he just absorbs it. 
He's taking oh, a he's sip get, of beer. He's getting some more courage juice. You know, Big What's Nasty wrestles best when he's drunk. Well, he's – oh, look at oh. that beer. It's just going all he's over the place. He's wasting it everywhere. It probably didn't taste good anyway. Yeah, IPAs. Well, now what's he got in store for? Look at this. This guy's got a wiffle bat. Look at with, that. With thumbtacks on. He just handed it to this deranged mass man. And now Frost. Look at that. Hit him in the arm oh, with goodness. it. Oh, my goodness. Thumbtack shots. He's, oh, my gosh. He's going to be bleeding everywhere. And now he's got the back exposed. Jesus. Why do these people do this to each other? Why does that exist? Who made a wiffle bat, wrapped it in two-sided tape, and then lined it with thumbtacks? I believe Mr. Frost did that. He came down to the ring with it. Oh. Uh, so he brought that weapon here to this hardcore match. Well, that was a, not a good idea on Mr. Frost's part. Table's getting knocked over. Beer getting spilled everywhere. Oh my gosh. Blood's flowing. This is a hardcore street fight, whatever you want to call it. Big elbow right there taking Frost down to the, to the ground. Got blood coming out of his shoulders, his back, his head. Oh, my gosh, you know that boot stinks. I heard them boots was 30 years old. They are got to be. Yeah, they're probably about 23 years old, I can guarantee you that. I don't know how I know that, but I talk to Nasty every once in a while. Yeah, when he comes down out the heels. But now here we go. We're going right back through the people uh -huh. once again. These poor people just trying to put their beers on these tables mm. and enjoy their afternoon. And then these two, these two crazy men. Insane. Come brawling through everywhere. I got to tell you, Mike, I'm guessing most of these people ain't never seen nothing like oh, this before. Oh, dear God. There's that guy with the dreads again. Who is that guy? Right there onto the table. There's beer getting, again, spilt everywhere. Maybe we'll get this back into the ring at some point. You think Nasty's got a table set up somewhere with a shine on it? I, this is a, this is a, I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. I just know he just hit him right over the head with another one of them cookie sheets. And I, what's he looking for underneath the oh ring now? Gosh. I'm sure there's weapons under there. Oh, he's got a cowbell. Oh, dear God. I think that might be one of the Wranglers. Is that my brother's cowbell? I don't have a clue, but that looks familiar. We've seen that cowbell used before. Frost was introduced to it in that hair versus mask match. We saw it during Big Donnie and Chris Thunder Anderson's bull rope match, and he's just choking him out right here. Is he out? I think I, he wishes he was out. Frost bloodied and beat up, and that nasty's going for more. What else has he got up under here? What does he have under? Oh, oh my goodness. We've seen this before. A barbed wire baseball bat that these two have used on each other before. It's like Nasty just keeps these stuff and just brings it every time he knows he's going to need it. I think he travels with the ring. Well, he just hit him right in the midsection with it. Now, big shot right across the back. <sighs> AJ's in pain. Oh, no. If we thought he was bleeding oh, before, he's going to be bleeding now. He's going to rip his head off. Those barbs being driven right into the forehead of A.J. Frost there, but look here, he's fighting back. He's not going to give up this fight I'm that good. easy. He wants to prove he's a tough little son that guy. he can finally beat Big Nasty. He, he had not got the best win, win record in their feud, but he's always there fighting. He's got that cowbell. Oh, he just run. I think, I think he just broke that bell over the head. That massive head of Big Nasty. Well, you know that big moonshine has probably got a hard head. He's down on the mat. We finally. He might be knocked out. Oh, he's coming up. Nope, he's cutting him down. We got some control finally. We got this action back into the ring, thank God. You know, I hear that when you get a big man down, you got to stay on him to keep him off his feet. Well, now he's got that barbed wire bat right across <laughs> the top of the back. Yeah. Here we go, big right hand. Who is going to walk out of this hardcore matchup to Victor? Both men taking a pretty good amount of abuse here. What's this? He's got that bat. He's trying to <laughs> Just fight. enough. He found just enough. He's doing everything he can to fight out of it. This is a brutal matchup here today. I don't know what you were expecting. This is what I was expecting. Oh, big Ooh. running boot. He says he's the man. He about kicked his head off his shoulders that time. He left that bat right there in the 
in the vicinity of Nancy. He's got it, but he's got that stop sign. Jeez. He's cutting him down. You got to stay on the big man when he's down. I don't know if this is getting any more violent than that hair versus mask match or not, but this is pretty brutal. And now Frost, he's in control. Nasty fighting back. You see the blood coming out of his back from that barbed wire bat. <laughs> blood coming out of the face of A.J. Frost. Big man's found his way back to his feet, though. Why do these men hate each other so much? I don't know. Maybe they're related. You think they might be related in some kind of family feud? I don't see the resemblance at all. Yeah. One's, one's small, one's large, one's covered his face. One's not. And A.J. Frost just stopped dead, dead on his tracks on that stop sign. He definitely stopped. And now, what's Nasty going to do? He's picking up that barbed wire bat once again. Oh, my God. He's just continuing to beat him. Now he's going right for his arm. Just raking the meat off of the man's arm. Putting pressure on it. Now that barbed wire bat has seen its share of uh, combat, so to speak, over the last year and a half. Frost going back out to the floor. He's trying to escape the punishment. Now he's using those right hands. Oh, he wants some more. He said, come on. JPS, you think your brother, you, you, you or your brother could do this? Oh, I don't know. I don't. I definitely couldn't. I Look don't know this. about my brother. This is ridiculous. Now they're just sitting out here in these chairs, trading right hands. And Chops, Nasty's starting to show some signs of damage here. Look here, oh, big forearm, big headbutt. He just pushed him over out of that chair. Look at the blood everywhere from Frost. Jeez. His arm, his, his head, this is getting out of control once again. And these chops, man, they, they, you know they hurt. Absolutely. The very large man swinging at you. Here we go, back into the square circle. Thank God, I don't want any of these people here at this beer festival to get hurt or get in the way and there be an accident. Look here, he's got the claw the on claw him. The claw on him. He's put that claw on A.J. Frost here. And they, wait a minute. Oh, there they are. There's Jamie Purge. What hey, they're doing out here? It don't matter. There's no rules. But he's on the apron. Here comes Fury. And now there's three of them. Now it's four on one. And again, J JPS, there's no rules. It's terrible. Saying, there's no rules saying they can't do this. Where's Big Nasty not having any friends? Is well, no one coming to his rescue? John Boy died and bootleg moved. I don't know what. Uh, and look here, F Fury with a senton oh. off the top. Two, that's it. Holy he kicked out. Look at the big man. Look at the big man fighting up. He's getting dropping them elbows from everybody. And right hands, oh, with that low blow low from blow. Frost. Puts him back down to his knees. Four oh. super kicks to get the big oh man back gosh. down. And now what's Frost doing? Oh, he just stomped that side, that metal side, right on the top of his head. Two, three, and AJ Frost. Jeez. Just won this hardcore match. Oh He's checking gosh. that arm. He's beaten up and bloodied. You cannot have a one-on-one -on -one match with A.J. Frost. That's ridiculous. Well, Look at that guy. He needs a 10. It didn't even matter. It, the, there were no rules in this matchup. And A.J. Frost picking up a win over Big Nasty. Look, dear Jeez. God. You ever heard of COVID? Ugh. Ugh. What a... The freak daddy, A.J. Frost, picking up the win here this week. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. That's all the time we got. So long for now.